What are the Lakers' biggest problems they have to fix quickly? Well, I think there's two things here. Um, first, I look at these young guys playing with a I mean, last year you had a lot of freedom, no pressure on you. you just go out and play basketball because nobody really expected a lot out of, out of you. Mm -hmm. Now you got this reputed athlete come and join your team, and it's a mountain of pressure in one season. You know, it's put on these guys to really just come out, and now we're talking about playoffs. Some people even saying Western Conference Finals. I heard Stephen A say that. But, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. They have to learn how to play with LeBron, and LeBron has to kind of figure out how to play with these guys. If you look at last night, LeBron only had four points at halftime. Yeah. Like that. He, Two of eight shooting. He can't play like that. LeBron always has to be aggressive till these guys figure out how to play with him. And defensively, they're just out of sync right now. They're not playing great defense. Uh, Bouillon not playing great defense, they're playing terrible defense. You got the numbers right here. Um, look, everyone said, oh, but scoring is up. But yeah, relative to everybody else in the league, you're in the bottom five right there, bottom six teams. Uh, a lot of it has to do with size. They don't have a whole lot of size. Um, they're giving up a lot in the paint and around the rim. But also, it's what uh, Tracy's talking about. They're not in sync because the team defensive principles are awful. Guys are getting blown by, there's no help coming or the help coming late. There's a lot of mental mi miscues that are happening out there. And I think a lot of it comes down to time. They just need time to gel. Mm -hmm. But also, at some point, playing Kyle Kuzma at the five yeah. isn't the answer. Yeah. I mean, KCP has to play better. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's been awful these first three Do games. Do you start and Josh Hart? I don't know if you make the change right now. It's only three games, and I suspect that he will pick it up. I'm going to tell you who I'm surprised by Who's is that? JaVale McGee, man. <laughs> you, see, I don't understand why people are surprised. Hey, JaVale McGee has been playing his butt off. No, it, man. You, 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 man, I'm the opposite. Really? Hey, I think he gets a lot of empty stats. I think it's like one of those you look at a box, go, oh, he played well. But he's one of the main culprits when I talk about being in the wrong position. He's playing LaMarcus Aldridge last night like he had never seen LaMarcus Aldridge before. Like he's a rookie or something. <laughs> you 11-year vet. You don't know he's going to do that? You don't know what his spot. I'm trying to give him a massive <laughs> <and he's laughs> <gonna go> care. <laughs> well, that, that leads to my question, though, is this personnel or scheme. Because I look at the pieces they added this summer, and there was a lot of like, oh, these are tough, gritty defensive players. And I was like, H have you no. looked at their recent defensive efficiency mm -hmm. numbers? There were definitely guys on this team who at one point in their careers were known for their defense. There's no question about it. But they are not known for that anymore and haven't been for a couple years. And I wonder, is it a scheme thing? Can you, can I, you change the team defense here or you just not have the guys who can do it? So uh, when everyone talked about the people they brought in, one of the first things I said was the players that they got are better than the ones they brought in. For the most part, Rondo excluded, but when you talk about Beasley, McGee, and Stevenson, I'd rather play Josh Hart, I'd rather play uh, Kyle Kuzma, and I'd rather play, pick, take it with Brandon Ingram or whoever. But Brandon Ingram, you not have, available. Not, yeah, <laughs> you gotta have rim but, but you gotta have you gotta rim protection. protection. You gotta have rim protection, and this is where a conversation about Joe Kim Noah is gonna start gaining momentum. He's not a world beater, he's not anywhere what he used to be, but you know what he is. <laughs> He's a dude who knows what he's doing on the defensive end from a team defense standpoint, Tracy. I'm not talking about he's going to go out there. I mean, do we know if he still have that type of intensity? That Does he? Can he play any other way? We, I mean, we don't know. He's uh, He's been hurt. 